So you've installed CC Vault, and now it's time to create your software wallet. Let's set one up together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, let's set up your new CC Vault software wallet. Let's jump in. Okay, so once you've installed CC Vault, open up the browser extension, come to the main page, and let's go to Create Wallet. You can give the wallet any name you want. We're excited about multi-pool delegation, so let's call it My Multi-Pool Wallet. Okay, great. Next, we're gonna enter a spending password. This is gonna be the password you're gonna enter anytime you need to interact with the blockchain to either send to another wallet or to delegate to a stake pool or anything like that. So go ahead and enter a strong spending password and we'll do the same. Once you've entered your spending password, hit save. Okay, so now they're about to give us our recovery phrase and this part is critically important to make sure that we understand, especially if you're new to these kinds of wallets. This 24 word recovery phrase is the method by which your private keys, the ones that say that this is you on the blockchain are generated. And keep in mind that it can be entered into any wallet in order to back up or restore your wallet's funds and private keys. So that means that if you lose this recovery phrase or somebody else sees it or copies it, they can, without any other verification, create another wallet, pretend they're you, and take all of your funds. So it's critically important that you make sure that nobody can see your screen, that you don't save this online or anywhere that it can be hacked or downloaded, and ideally, you wanna make several paper copies and store them in different locations so that if something happens to one of them, you have a backup. All right, so with that understood, say I confirm that nobody can see my screen because anybody who knows my recovery phrase will be able to spend all of the ADA in my wallet. So go ahead and check that box and hit continue. Okay, so here's our recovery phrase. Obviously, we just said let nobody see it, and you're looking right at ours, but there's a demo wallet that we're gonna delete right after. So what you're gonna do now is take these 24 words, write all of them down in order on three separate pieces of paper, and then when we're done, we're gonna repeat it back to CC Vault to confirm that we've gotten them correct. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll continue from there. Once you've written it down, say yes, I wrote it down carefully, and click continue. And now you're gonna type back in the 24 words to confirm that you got them correct. This will compare the list that they gave you and that way you're sure that if you need to restore in the future, you have the right words to be able to do so. So now go ahead and confirm your recovery phrase, enter in all 24 words in order, we'll do the same and then we'll continue from there. Cool, so now we've confirmed all 24 words. It gives us another reminder that we have to say, look, I understand that the only way I can recover my wallet if my computer is lost, broken or stolen is to use this recovery phrase. CC Vault cannot give it back to you. This is the only time that this phrase is ever generated. So we know that we're good to go. So we'll hit continue. Great, wallet was created successfully. Fantastic. Okay, so if we take a look around a little bit, here's an overview of our wallet. From this dashboard, we can also see our tokens. If you get any NFTs or any other Cardano native assets, such as Sunday tokens or World Mobile tokens, they'll appear here. And you can also see your accounts. And this is what will enable us to be able to do multi-pool delegation, which we'll look at in a little bit. We can see a list of our transactions, we can send to another wallet, and we can also receive funds. So what you're gonna wanna do now is send some funds over to this wallet, whether it's from your exchange or wherever else. We always recommend to try and do a test transaction first to make sure that it went through correctly. Send maybe one or two ADA, just to give yourself the peace of mind that everything went through as expected. And once that goes through correctly, then you can send the remaining balance. So let's go ahead and click on share. So we'll copy this receive address. We'll paste it into the exchange or wherever we're sending the funds from, and then we'll send the funds over to this wallet. So go ahead and do your test transaction first. Let's make sure it goes through, and then we'll go from there. Okay, we see our test transaction of two ADA has come through. We see it here on the transactions list. So go ahead and use the same address again and send the remainder of your balance over to this wallet and we'll do the same. Okay, awesome. So the rest of our balance has come through and congratulations, your wallet is now fully funded. But let's take a look at a few other things here just to get acquainted with the wallet. We have our section here for staking that we'll take a closer look at here in a moment. Here's a section for voting, for catalyst voting. But I wanted to show you a couple of interesting settings that the wallet has. So if we come to settings here, if you have other wallets or maybe your account back in your exchange that you send to regularly, you can actually add here a receiver to the address book. You just give it a name and then the address that it corresponds to. And that way, instead of having to go to find the address every time, you can just add it here. You can also enter an access password. So this is different than your spending password. This is gonna be a password to access the wallet at all. So for example, if we give this a try, let's go ahead and enter an access password and then we'll save it. So we'll hit save. And now once we've done that, we see now that our wallet has this little lock icon. And we also have here the button to lock the wallet. So if I click on this lock icon, 
we'll see here that my wallet is locked. And now not only can I not interact with it, but it also doesn't show my balance. A lot of people were asking for this feature in Yoroi, so it's really cool to see it implemented here in CC Vault. Now, if anybody comes and is using your computer or something like that, and they click on your CC Vault pinned browser extension icon here, they won't even know what your funds are and will have no way to get into your wallet without knowing your lock password. So this is a great feature that we recommend that everybody implements. So let's go ahead and unlock our wallet to get back into it. We'll enter our unlock password and hit OK. Sweet, so we see our wallet is unlocked. Next, all that's left to do is to select our preferred stake pool and delegate to them. In the next video, we'll actually show you how to do that and how to do with multi-pool delegation so you can delegate to more than one if you'd like. We'll see you in the next video.